powder can be a great but uh. <laughs> so cocoa powder can be a great but uh. <laughs> one, so one, two, three. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, so let them know who you are. So my name is Shannon Kenny. Um, I have a website called mamaeco.com and you can also follow me on Instagram, mama.eco. I'll put um, the handle somewhere here uh, and the link here. <laughs> but Mama Eco, um, everything that I do is about sustainability, um, things that are environmentally friendly, um, and Lizzie is a, the makeup guru. <laughs> I'm here to teach her some basics. Yes. Some re refresh some basics. Yes. Yeah, and she's here to teach me sustainability and the zero waste life and tell me what I can do to do better for the environment because I do feel like there's so much more I can do, but it's particularly hard in Trinidad to do. So none of that's an excuse, but I have been using no, that as an excuse. That is a that is a good point though. Yeah. Do you know what type of skin you have? No. Do you get oily throughout the day? Sometimes or very like Okay, that's pretty I think, normal. I think my face is more dry. Dry. If I'm, if do I'm, you get patchy, like patches, especially in, especially in winter in, in New York? Mm, patchy, like the coloring of the skin. No, like um, flakes, flaky skin. Sometimes it's dry. Yeah, sometimes. dryness. Okay. So right now I'm just putting some moisturizer on your skin. Okay. That is just needed in any kind of procedure, whether you're oily or not. Yeah, it's really good to put on. Uh, moisturizer base for, for the makeup. Really. Your more mascara, your concealer, and a lip. Yeah, my main thing is your concealer for the dark circles, and then I feel like I don't like when I put on concealer. Maybe the color isn't the perfect match, so then I feel like I have to put on the foundation to make it not make look good. Yeah, and then I also feel like but you I would those, you would go without foundation if you could. I would go without all of it. Yeah. <laughs> Really that's what I'm saying. It's just the dark circles. Circles, really anything else. else. Well, that's what I was saying. And then you can actually bring down your routine to just the liquid concealer and then um, powder. The same uh, we're gonna try out today. Cocoa? No. Co oh. Cocoa powder. Cocoa powder for bronzer. What is the what is the flower? Oh, so we have coconut flour because I couldn't find uh, almond almond flour, which would have been a perfect color. Okay. Perfect. It might also be. How old is the powder? No judgment here. Five years. <laughs> For how much? Five years. Yeah, out. Because I don't really so, use it. Because you don't so use like it, but but makeup does have expiration dates. You obviously won't need all of this, but I am going to use a uh, yellow on Shans because she has uh, dark circles that are grey tones. Okay, different in one eye already. You see any? <laughs> That can so, be used for a lot of different things once you're done with it. Or yeah, like that. This can be. Oh, true, for sure. Like, I show it. in there. True, true. Uh, this is the makeup forever foundation that could palette. Also be a really good travel case. So, like, if you you were traveling. Also, my earrings, ring, like jewelry, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, it's just not to throw away mindlessly after using something. That's what the zero waste. Yeah, lifestyle is about right. Throwing away is your last option. Reuse, so you know you can find other uses for that. You may be able to, mm -hmm. be able to use that for a bunch of other things that could maybe extend its life by mm -hmm. two, three, four times what the average person does. Okay. Um, recycle, but a lot of people also kind of once they recycle, they kind of wash their hands and they mm. say, "Okay, I did my, it, I did my It's not part. a problem anymore. Coconut flour. Coconut flour. So this is my first time trying this. Actually, I should maybe do a little swatch on my hand, see how it feels. Oh, it's very grainy. Is that good or bad? Bad. It should be a little bit more smooth, okay? The particles are bigger. Bigger. Than what's on yeah. Then when uh, you know they will blend easier into your skin. Mm -hmm. So like right here, uh, the inside of your eye, right here. It doesn't look as smooth as I think it would look if I had used a regular makeup powder. Right. That is probably the only complaint I have about it so far. So since you're doing my eyelashes, should, why don't you show me the oh, yes. eyelash extensions? Well, these are strip lashes, which are pretty common in Trinidad in terms of clients requesting them. Strip lashes, though, however, 
these, I mean, not to hate on Ardell, which is a great brand and their lashes are actually really nice and not so fake looking. But the packaging is what I wanted to bring attention to Shans. I'm gonna so, bring down the camera a little bit so that you can show them. Just first looking at this, it doesn't even look like the packaging is recyclable. So normally, this might be... Um, so what, I mean... So how you know if something is recyclable in terms of plastic? Mm -hmm is there'll be that little recycling triangle on there right and but some stuff doesn't number. even have a chance right so like, I, like I honestly how, like don't how do think, you even know i don't think any of this is recyclable this part may be but again it doesn't have it on it there so, so what that means is that if i was to go and put this i think i'm doing a great deal by putting this in the plastic heap it's going, thing. it might be going in trash the, because they have to sort it, right? Right. So when it comes to them, they're going to look through it and they're going to sort out anything that's not recyclable. And a lot of people have like, I don't know what it's called. Right. Like so just because it's plastic, guys, does not mean that it's recyclable. I All feel right. like that is a common misconception. You All think, right. okay, well, plastic, it's going to go in the, in the recycling and I'll be fine. I'm, I'm doing my great deed of the day. Yeah. Basically. No. I just looking at this, I, I I'm 99% sure that this is not recyclable plastic. Does that mean it comes from plastic that has been recycled and it just can't be recycled anymore no. though, by chance? There's seven, there's seven different types of plastics. So one through seven. I'm killing the world! One, one is the most recyclable, seven is the least recyclable. So I don't even think that this... And the reason that is is because like, okay, this, the seven is made up of several different types mm -hmm. of plastics. So mm -hmm. like, how do they then break that down mm -hmm. to then reuse the raw materials? So I, I honestly, I may be wrong, but I don't think that this is recyclable. I don't think I don't any think of these are. These I don't are think any of these are. The cheat to bronzing, if you want to say, like it usually tends to work on everybody and it will work on you. It's the number three. So you do a number three on the face that way. And you can look at the video if you want to know, but it's basically three. That's where you're applying uh, it. And the center three is on the cheekbone or below? No. Can't. You feel where your cheekbone is? Yeah. Below it. Okay. That hollow right here? That's the center. The that's three. that. And you take it into the the hairline and all hair. Because you don't want to have a difference between hair and there. Got it. The cocoa powder can be a great bronzer alternative. So Definitely. So far we're one for two. Yes. Co co coconut flour, not so good for foundation. But no. cocoa powder, it can be a great bronzer. Definitely. So again, I had a new product and I just started here and I'm now taking it up to your forehead. It smells good. It smells so good. Like I really want the hot chocolate right now. Yeah. <laughs> so have a blog, right? Do you want to talk about your blog a little bit while I finish off your lips? Yeah, so... Um, you have Instagram, but you also have a blog. So yeah, on... It's totally okay, you can talk. MamaEco.com mm -hmm. Press it. Every week I'll come out with, uh, I'll write a blog on a different topic of ways that people can be more sustainable and a lot of times it's very easy changes. So a lot of people want to be more sustainable or live more sustainably but they just don't know where to start. To start. And so my whole goal is to make that whole process as seamless and as easy as possible. Um, so each week, sorry, brief break. Mm -hmm. Each week I'll focus on something different, so you know, easy swaps you can do in the bathroom or recently I did one on, you know, feminine care, what you can do for, for you know, when you have well, your so period waste, each month, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, you can avoid having any waste whatsoever. All those, the stickers or the pads, oh my god, all of that is plastic, <laughs> see what yeah, I mean? I don't yeah. know. Putting the brow gel on you, you will tell me if you see any difference. I just think it will add a little bit more. Shape because just at the end here it does get very thin. Just trying to even that out because I did give you mascara and lashes, so just the very subtle. What do you think, Chance? Would you go out like this? I would. Yeah, it's not again. We we it wasn't meant for a heavy coverage look. This is just a covering up her dark circles, enhancing the shape of her face, giving her a little bit of a pink lip to make her look a little girly. Because I'm her friend and I know her for really long and I'm just putting her on the spot. <laughs> she wants to kill me right now. But other than that, you would go out like this, right? If I was going out, I, this is definitely not something I would do on a regular basis. Yeah. Your day-to-day, -day, this is... 
This works? Cool. Yeah. Ta-da! Thanks for watching! Bye! I got...